Hey everybody, welcome to Starlink Hardware. My name is Colby, and it looks like the launch of the highly anticipated Starlink Mini Dish is really, really close. We had some major developments over the weekend, and in today's video, I'm gonna be covering all that and some more recent information that we just got this morning right before I started recording the video. So let's jump right in. So it started off with an FCC approval that we saw come through on the Starlink Mini's router module. And then it escalated further when we got a Starlink app update. Now the app update gave us a lot of information, including our first look at what the Starlink Mini actually looks like. And I wrote that on the blog post yesterday, so I broke that story. But before we jump into what's brand new about the Starlink Mini, let's talk about what we already know. It'll give you some background context information. So based on previous FCC documents, we know some rough specs about the Starlink Mini. So we know the size. And so I'm gonna show a graphic here that illustrates the size of the Starlink standard versus the Starlink Mini. And in addition to the graphic, you can also tell kind of a real life example by the size of this MacBook. So this is roughly the size of the what the Starlink Mini is going to be. And this is a good comparison because you can see the size of the MacBook, roughly the size of what the Mini will be compared to the current Gen 3 standard dish. So it's, it's massive compared to the Mini. Based on the size alone, we know that Starlink Mini is gonna be intended for and targeted to campers, RV owners, van lifers, those sort of people. Uh, people that need a very portable dish that's easy to set up, easy to take down, doesn't take up much space, is easy to store, that sort of thing. It's not gonna be meant for fixed applications like home internet use. So that's about all the information that we had up until now. So yesterday, I noticed that there was an app update for the Starlink app on my iOS device. So I went ahead and updated that and went to check things around and actually went into the developer mode of the Starlink app, which you can do by going all the way to the bottom of the app, tapping on advanced about five times in a row. That'll get you into the development mode. And that's just for uh, the Starlink app team to be able to test certain user interface elements, things like that. But it, gave us some new information and it gave us our first look at what the Starlink Mini actually is gonna look like and the design of it. So if you go into that developer mode, it lists several uh, app conditions that you can set your app to just to test things out. And a couple of those related to the Starlink Mini. So if you tap on the one where it says Mini connected, you can see actual graphic, a rendering of what that Starlink Mini is gonna look like and it looks pretty much like just a small mini version of the standard. So it's got the kickstand and everything, it's just a very small version of that. And that was the basically the first time that we've actually seen what the mini looks like and all the FCC approval documents and all that things, the images of and the photos of the device have actually been kept confidential. So it's nice to see now what the actual product will look like. In addition to the first images of the mini, we actually got a little bit more information from the app update. So. If you go and play with some of the other settings when you're in that mini dish mode, I found out one more important detail, and that is that this mini is gonna have a built-in Wi-Fi router. So if you go into the mini development mode and you click on the router and the device settings, I saw that the devices, the test devices in that development mode were connected directly to the dish itself. So there wasn't like a separate router graphic like normal, like you would see with the Gen 3 or the Gen 2 when you're in that same app status mode. So I found that quite interesting and that can only mean one thing and that, and that is that the Starlink Mini will have an integrated Wi-Fi router. That's pretty interesting, but it makes total sense when you think about what the intended use case is for the Mini. So you're just gonna be kind of setting it up at your campsite. You want minimal components, minimal setup time, so it's nice to have that Wi-Fi router just directly integrated in the dish itself. Set it down close to your campsite and you'll have Wi-Fi 6 coverage, which will probably cover up to about 25 to 3,000 square feet. So that should be plenty of Wi-Fi signal strength to be able to cover you know, your immediate area within you know, 80 to 120 feet of where that dish is set. Another piece of information that I found on the Mini is in regards to mesh compatibility. So it looks like the mini Wi-Fi router, the integrated router, will be mesh compatible with Starlink's existing Gen 2 and Gen 3 mesh routers. So you'll be able to wirelessly pair an existing 
maybe Gen 2 or Gen 3 router with your Starlink Mini directly to form that wireless mesh network in case you needed additional Wi-Fi coverage beyond just the integrated router in the dish. So we got some basic information on the Mini, like what it's gonna look like, some of the features like the router that's integrated, but just before I started filming this video, we also got some tweets from Elon Musk that revealed some additional details about availability and pricing. So Elon Musk tweeted, you know, early this morning that he was actually using the mini dish to post several tweets and he was testing it out and he posted actually a speed test. So we get some performance indications from that. So he posted a, a speed test. It looks like the download speed was about hundred megabits per second. And then the upload is about 11 megabits per second. So right around where, you know, I thought it would be based on Amazon Project Kuiper's mini dish that they said would have a targeted speed of about 100 down and 10 up. So the Starlink Mini looks to be right around there. So you're gonna compromise, because of the smaller antenna, you're gonna have some compromise with portability and the performance. So performance is gonna be a little bit lower, but you're gonna have that ultra portable design. Musk also talked about the pricing and availability. So he had mentioned that the pricing should be about half of the standard dish. Starlink just lowered the standard dish's price from $599 to $499 in the United States. So we can expect the Starlink Mini to cost between $250 and $300, somewhere in that price range. Musk also tweeted that the Starlink Mini should be available in the next few months. So probably sometime this summer is when we're looking at as far as a release date. Earlier in the year, he said it would be available sometime in 2024. So you kind of have to take what Musk says as far as his timelines with a grain of salt, because oftentimes he's pretty optimistic about those things. But I think we'll definitely see it sometime this year, sometime this summer. And what I had mentioned about the app update and things like that are definitely indications that they're moving forward with a pretty much an imminent launch of the product. The final detail that Musk shared on Twitter this morning was that it's gonna be rolling out to select areas. So it's not gonna be a you know worldwide product launch all at once. It'll probably start in the United States, maybe in select areas of the United States, and then roll out from there. Kind of like how we saw with the Gen 3 standard dish. So now what are the major questions that we don't have answers for? Well, we don't know if it's gonna have a DC power supply option. So it'd be really nice. And it's one of the features that I want the most for the mini to have the ability to plug it in directly to 12 volts, to be able to plug it into like a car outlet or tie it into your RV or van electrical system, the battery. It'd be nice to have that DC power supply option, but that's one thing that we don't know about yet. We also don't know if Starlink's gonna offer a mini specific plan or not, like a mini subscription. A lot of people are gonna be using this very sporadically just for like their camping trips or whatever. Starlink does have their Roam plan, which is $150 a month, but that's kind of a steep price to pay if you're just using it for a few days on a camping trip over the weekend, or if you're using it as like emergency backup internet for your home, something like that. Musk did tweet something about it that the subscription would be monthly, but that's already the case with Roam. So we don't know if he's talking about a brand new plan or if he's just talking about the existing Roam plan. We'll just have to wait and see how that rolls out. So there you have it. That's your Starlink mini update. That's all that we know so far. Pretty exciting stuff to be so close to a product launch. Like I had mentioned, I think the Starlink Mini is probably their most anticipated product release so far in Starlink's history. It seems like everybody has a use case for a very small portable dish that probably uses less power. It's definitely gonna be cheaper, even though it's compromising a little bit of that performance. So let me know what you think in the comments below about the Starlink Mini. Go check out the images and let me know what you think. What do you think about the pricing? Is half the price of the standard dish pretty fair? And would you also like to see a separate service plan that's maybe by the, by the day or by the gigabyte kind of thing, instead of a, you know having to pay a full $150 for one month of Rome. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll, we can chat about it. But until then, we'll see you in the next video.